Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hearts Crochet Podcast, where we are celebrating Merry Vlogmas 2022. Welcome to my new subscribers, and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me on this 10th day of December. This is Vlogmas Day 10 of Christmas, Coffee, Advent, and Crochet. And what I'm doing this month is going through 24 cups of cheer with you, uh, choosing one each day. It's a coffee advent by K, uh, K Cup Pods <laughs> Advent Calendar. So anyway, uh, today is day 10. We're going to go ahead and choose one here. Uh, let's see what we have. Go ahead and get my glasses on before. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I just got in from work a short while ago, started hunting puppies and getting them packed up, I mean not packed up, but getting them rounded up. I think I just heard it start raining again, but it is hot as I'll get out here. I think it was like 75 today or something, but not December Christmas weather, I tell you that much. So that's why I have on a tank top and I got my hair all up and all that good stuff. But anyway, so day 10 is right here. You can see that. Oh, I haven't been able to drag these out. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Could it be? <laughs> Green Mountain Coffee. Green Mountain has some good coffees. I've seen so many different flavors. Naturally flavored cinnamon sugar cookie. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Look at that. Cinnamon sugar cookie. Yay! I'm probably getting really excited. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so let's get this baby started. And like I said, I'm not sure it's going to fill a big one, so I'm going to... Uh-oh. I'm going to choose a middle-sized cup and go through the project with you today. Uh, and then I will have a little get-together afterwards after we do this in the coffee. Alrighty. So today's project and it's quick and easy it's a little bit bigger than the ones that we have been doing but it is still quick and easy you can sit and make one during a movie I would I would think I can't remember how long it took me maybe two movies but anyway it is <laughs> this is John Boy's um, drawstring beanie now the red isn't showing up too good and um, like I say, this is quick and easy. Very great tutorial. He has a, an awesome tutorial. And everything that I've seen that he's made, uh, that I have made of his tutorials, are very easy to understand. He goes through it thoroughly with you. And um, the only thing different I did, of course, I'm going to do something different, right? I, I added about five in the middle of the... Uh, five in the middle and when you when you go to make one I will link his video below so when you make one you'll know what I mean I put five extra in the middle because of my hair and I don't like beanies tight on my head and then I think I did um, I can't remember I did five more each of these as well now this one I did as he instructed on the on the drawstrings but the other ones I think I did a little bit differently. But when I go to show you those, I will explain those as well. Thank you, John Boy, for such great video tutorials that you put out. Everything is so easy. Uh, you make it so easy for us to make your great projects. So thank you very much. But like I say, you can make a few of these. This is red and... I really don't know. This is probably some kind of red heart red is what it feels like because, you know, the Premier Just Yarn from um, Dollar Tree is actually pretty soft. And this is this is not very soft, but, you know, I wear it on my head. I'm not very sensitive and all that good stuff. So I'm good with that. But I don't think it's um, – I know it's not cherry red because I don't actually have any cherry red. So I really don't know where this yarn came from. The white 
is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in white. But yeah. Thank you, John Boy. So make you some of those. And uh, John Boy loves it when you put pictures of his. It's John Boy Crochets. Or John Boy Crochet. And I never remember if it's a... I think it's just John Boy Crochet. But, yep. He's a sweetheart. Um... And I think he enjoys when you send him pictures of projects that you've made of his, and he posts them on his, um, he posts them on his community tab. So yeah, John Boy's drawstring beanie. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've made several of these. I made this one for me, and then I made four for coworkers in orange, like Home Depot orange, with the white. Uh, pom-pom tassels on top and um, I love the way he does this too I really do that's awesome and then you don't have to worry about it coming apart or coming loose in the washing machine or anything like that but anyway um, so I made four also of these in orange, Home Depot orange for us for elf uh, Homer elf hats and we wear those if it would ever get cold enough around here now I'm probably gonna kick myself for saying that because I think it's supposed to get pretty cold here in the next couple of weeks I hope so I mean it's Christmas it's December I shouldn't be wearing tank tops <laughs> and flip flops and shorts and got my fan on <laughs> so anyway today's project John Boy's John Boy crochet drawstring beanie I will link that tutorial below alrighty so here's his cinnamon sugar cookie coffee I think I can almost smell the cinnamon. I, I just can't tell. Sometimes I think I can, but then I think it's just because I want to so bad. So it's kind of a head, you know, mind thing. Um, I did talk to the lady the other day, the nurse, one of my uh, lab people from, one of my lab people from, uh, well, where I went the other day that burnt my chest up. Um, and she said that she was, was without taste and smell for eight months. So I'm getting close. So that was Ju June was the first time. So I'm going on seven months without it. And then I had it the second time and still hadn't ever gotten my taste and smell back from the first time. So anyway, like I said, I, 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 I don't know. I guess it's all in my head. <laughs> I mean, not having any sense taste of smell is not in my head, but the fact that I want to smell this cinnamon sugar cookie coffee, because this is the first real flavor I've had, right? I think I had one more. But it wasn't real flavor. I can't remember. <laughs> it is too dang hot to be drinking, though, so far. And I'm not sure if I told y'all in my video yesterday, or maybe I, I can't remember, that, um, that uh i heard from my doctor and they said all the tests were clear so yeah oh yeah i think i did tell you because i said i just wasn't going back to doctors anymore <laughs> oh and i got me a new i had to stop and buy me some christmas cups just because i don't think i have any this is a dollar general special for a dollar these were a dollar they had some that was two that were two was two dollars and four dollars But this one just has uh, trees and poinsettias and mooses or reindeer, more trees. So, yeah. Just your regular size coffee cup. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a random number between 1 and 7. And then, I mean, well, Google's going to do it for me. And then I'm going to take whichever video Google tells me and I am going to draw for a $10 uh, either Amazon gift card or PayPal straight to your account or maybe even just $10 and a Christmas card coming your way. <laughs> whichever you prefer. But then I will give you instructions on that um, after we draw. How's that? Okay. Hey, Google. Please choose a random number between 1 and 7. Seven. 
seven. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to thank you Google. Do you tell Google thank you? Does she say you're welcome? Okay, so there's that. I wanted to do the wheel picker thing, but I really didn't know how to do that. So, let's go to random comment, I mean, uh, day seven, Mary Vlogmas, day seven. And all I know to do is really go ahead and do my random comment picker, take a picture of it, and show you. Uh-oh. Stop it. So we're going to share. We're going to copy the copy Earl. I love it when Dana says that. I'm going to copy Earl. We're going to put Earl in the box. I've got YouTube random comment picker uh, chosen. And I'm going to put, a, put Earl in the box. And then what else do we say? Filter duplicate users. We didn't have a specific text. I just said, please enter. Um, please enter. And then 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry to 2. Get YouTube comments. This is from day 7, Vlogmas day 7. I thought I told it to get you to. Amount of unique comments was 21. <coughs> Excuse me. So then, once I pick the random, uh, start raveling, pick random winner, I will take a picture with my phone and then show it to you. How's that? What I want to know is why this Lowe's thing keeps coming up. There ain't no lows in this house. Okay, start raffle and pick random winner. Do, 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 do. Okay, so camera. Let's take a picture of this. I think I told you all the random uh, Total names is 21. Make sure that came out clear. It did not. Y'all know how pictures do on the on a computer screen, right? Okay. So this is just going to be it. So the winner is uh where's my camera? I gotta make sure it's getting in here. Okay, the winner is K and K crochet. Alrighty. I love her little gnome in her in her picture right there. So her comment is the coffee cup cozies are cute. I've been looking for one to make for a friend. So there you go. Uh, K and K Crochet, email me at, uh, what is my email address? The email listed below, which is cindyheartscrochet at gmail.com. And I will give you, I will send, you, I'll email you back. First of all, tell me if you'd rather have PayPal. Amazon or cash in a card. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do that. Well, I mean, I don't care. If you trust the mail system, I do. Because there's not enough going through there anymore for anybody to be caring what you're mailing, right? Anyway, um, so send me an email to cindyheartscrochet at gmail.com, which is in the comments, uh, in the description box below. And I will tell you what to do with your comment from day seven in order because you will be the only one that can change, that can edit your comment. And then that way I'll make sure it's you without going through all this other stuff. And if you will try to let me know within a day uh, or two, if you let me know by Monday before I make a video, I mean, I'm going to say like Monday by noon, 
and then I will get that over to you as soon as possible. But y'all stay tuned because I will do something similar this com this next coming week. Uh, make sure you watch and comment and everything. I would also appreciate a like and a subscribe if you haven't yet done that. Please, thank you. Um, it's not required to enter the contest or anything, but I, uh, it would help me out a little bit. And I guess that's going to be it for today. I've got to come up with some things over these next couple of days because I've been working on stuff, but it hadn't been for, um, it hadn't been little stuff, like for what I'm doing here. So I will link the link below, I will put the link below for John Boy's um, tutorial for the drawstring beanie. I love it. And it's, it's quick and easy. And I mean, you can whip whip one up in no time. So you've got time to make one for the whole family, one each for the whole family before Christmas. <laughs> oh, just kidding. And then I finally took the, um, oh, never mind. That's a surprise. Never mind. <laughs> that's another day. Um, and also give John Boy a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. He's got some great content out there. Um, what else? Is that it? Happy Vlogmas Day 10. Merry Vlogmas Day 10. Christmas Coffee, Advent, and Crochet. So there you go. And K and K, congratulate K and K. Have I already forgot that name? No. Congratulate K and K Crochet in the comments below. And K and K, give me a Send me that message to my email, and we'll get that going for you. Alrighty then, thank y'all for joining me this evening, and I will see you again tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. It takes me forever to get out of here. Okay, love you, bye.